Jennifer is on call 24 hours a day, and oftentimes you'll find its staff at the bedside of victims at UMC. Last year, they helped more than 700 victims in the hours after their attack and answered 4,200 calls from women who needed help. And today they celebrated by moving into a brand new 3,000 square foot facility. Fox 5 Sydney Lundenberg's in Studio Note now with more on today's event. John Christine, you just talked about the numbers of victims they help, but how about the number of victims the Rape Crisis Center prevents? About a year ago, they partnered with Metro Police for a new program. It aims to teach security guards at clubs what to look out for and how to prevent sexual assaults, and it's working. On February 9th at Excess Nightclub at the Wynn, security guard Manny Searsong saw a man trying to leave the club with a woman, and something felt off. She didn't necessarily seem like she came with this person. She might have seemed a little bit not able to take care of herself, and he went and, and, and intervened and asked some questions, and the, some of the questions and the training that, that is specific to the program. The program he's talking about is the so Stay Safe class. It teaches nightclub employees to identify predators and to look for victims. Manny acted quick. Upon doing that, the, the bad guy fled the scene. Manny being heroic, we don't have a victim, mm -hmm. as opposed to what could the other story be. The Stay Safe class is new. Metro and the Rape Crisis Center put it together about a year ago. They're working to get it into every club on the Strip. So far, they've trained 4,000 employees. And even though it's pretty new, they're already seeing progress. We know we've had at least 25 documented incidents where we know we prevented something. How awesome is that? Today, the Rape Crisis Center moved into a new, bigger building. All right. <laughs> they also took time to celebrate Manny. <clears throat> Manny, if you'd ki kindly come up. Thereby, he is presented with this Community Hero Award for preventing sexual assault. And Manny's story is just the latest indication that Metro and the Rape Crisis Center's partnership is working. And it's not just sexual assaults. What does that mean? That means last year, violent crime. We saw a 9% reduction in total violent crime. This year, what does that mean? It means right now we're at 29% reduction in sexual assault for the strip area command. Metro says they're trying to build on that momentum to eradicate all violence against women. So they're message for those people preying on our community is this. Not on our watch. Not on our watch are we going to let this happen. The building the Rape Crisis Center moved into, it's right here behind me. It's about 3,000 square feet. Uber was also there today. They donated $10,000 to the Stay Safe program. They were also there talking about their own campaign to combat sexual assault. It's called Don't Stand By. I'll tell you all about that coming up at 6 o'clock. In the studio, Cindy Lundeberg, Fox 5 News, local, Los